I am a man born some years back into this contraption called Nigeria. I am an advocate of rationalism. I like people that reason out matters by weighing both consequences and implications as regards the realities on each segment. Nigeria has existed as an independent entity for 58 years and I can't seem to see reason why it is still remaining as an entity till date. Ever since I became conversant with English language there are three statements I have heard over the years from most rulers of this contraption that pukes me. I have tried to rationalize its reality and acceptability but found them absolutely unacceptable and unimaginable. These statements are 1. The unity of Nigeria is non-negotiable. 2. The bond of our existence is indissoluble. 3. The unity of this great country is sacrosanct. Considering these statements, I am tempted to ask, where is unity in this country? What is the meaning of unity? Does Nigeria have their own definition of the word unity while the rest of the world have theirs difference? Let's look up the meaning of unity and its related words. Unity 1. The state or fact of being one and undivided. 2. Single undivided thing seen as complete in itself. United. 1. Joined into a single entity. 2. Involving the joint activities of multiple agents. Considering the above definitions of these constantly used words and statements by this fraudulent one United Nigerianists, and judging by your experience from independent up until now, is Nigeria really one and united? Power sharing and leadership from 1960 to date. Tafwa Prime Minister. 1960 to 1963. Three years rule. Nimti Azakai. President. 1963 to 1966. Three years rule. Johnson and Gigi Ironsi. Head of State. January 1966, June 1966. 194 days rule. Yakabu Gawan. Head of State. 1966 to 1975. Nine years rule. Murtala Mohammed. Head of State. 1975 to 1976. One year rule. Alasagan Obasanjo. Head of State. 1976 to 1979. Three years rule. Shishagari. President. 1979 to 1983. Four years rule. Muhammad Buhari. Head of State. 1983 to 1985. Two years rule. Ibrahim Babangida. Head of State. 1985 to 1993. Eight years rule. Ernest Chongak. Interim President. 1993. Six months rule. Sani Abaka. Head of State. 1993 to 1998. Five years rule. Abdul Salami Abubakar. Head of State. 1998 to 1999. One year rule. Alasagan Obasanjo. President. 1999 to 2007. Eight years rule. Amaru Musayarajua. President. 2007 to 2010. Three years rule. Good luck, Jonathan. President. 2010 to 2015. Five years rule. Muhammad Buhari. President. 2015 to 2017. Out of these distributions the North ruled for 31, 31, years, the Middle Belt ruled for 9, 9, years, the West has ruled for 11, 11, years the South South have ruled for 5, 5, years while the Eastern people have ruled for 3, 3, years. How united are these distributions? How equitable is this? Road Safety State played numbering in their slogan. The Federal Road Safety Commission came out with new vehicular plate numbering with each state choosing a slogan and these are their slogans which should mind the unity of Nigeria. Abia, God's own state. Abuja, center of unity. Adamawa, land of sunshine and hospitality. Akwaibom, land of promise. Baki, pearl of tourism. Bailsa. Glory of all lands. Bainway, 
food basket of the nation. Borno, home of peace. Cross River, the people's paradise. Delta, the big heart. Ebony, salt of the nation. Eto, heartbeat of the nation. Akiti, fountain of knowledge. Anugu, coal city state. Gom, jewel in the savannah. Imo, eastern heartland. Jigawa, the new world. Kaduna, center of learning. Kano, center of commerce. Katsina, home of hospitality. Kebi, land of equity. Kogi, confluence state. Kwara, place of harmony. Lagos, center of excellence. Nazarawa, home of solid minerals. Niger, power state. Ogun, gateway state. Ondo, the sunshine state. Osu, state of the living spring. Oyo, pay sutter state. Plateau, home of peace and tourism. Rivers, treasure base of the nation. Sokoto, seat of the caliphate, born to rule. Teraba, nature's gift to a nation. Yopi, the young shall grow. Zamfara, home of agricultural produce. Considering these distributions, doesn't the choice of Sokoto elicit anarchy, or is it not reasonable for a state to choose the word caliphate a unified federal Islamic government run by a caliph? But all these were done not minding how the rest of Nigerian citizens would feel. In a united country can such barefaced nepotism be exercised? We have seen lopsided appointments in the present regime with all important positions occupied by northerners and you still talk about unity and one Nigeria? If these are the true meanings of unity and oneness then Biafrans don't want to be part of this bogus. Biafra is our destination, no going back until we achieve and reach our target.